Stephen conceding a late goal is never nice. That probably draws the headline at the game at the end. How are the boys feeling after that? I listened there and they're really disappointed, dejected, um, because they felt as if that they had put in uh, enough to see the game out. Any time you can see the goal as late on as that, you know, it's 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 a hard one to take. But I felt over the piece if we are when we analyse it, I, I think probably a draw was a fair result. You know, we've come down here, they're a very good side. Um, but again, we're really brave in possession and what we try and then do, we stuck to our principles and how we try and then play the game, which, which hopefully everybody can see. Um, so it is disappointing to lose that goal late on. But like I say, it's, it's, it's where we're at. It's, it's uh, with the young players' stage in their career, these things are happening. They get, you get a different test when you come down and play in the Premier League International Cup and it's a, again, it's, it's another learning experience for the players. When something like that happens at the end of the game, sometimes that can mask the overall performance. So when you try and assess that overall performance, what did you make? The, the performance was, was, was good in parts. Um, like I said, they were very, very man-focused in the build, which then we were trying to find the spare player, but at times the spare player wasn't there, so that gives the boys a different uh, problem that they need to solve on the pitch. Um, but again, it takes great courage for the players, for, for Josh, the centre-backs, the full-backs to then keep going inside at the right times. So I felt we did that really well. Um, I just, we just felt, in the, in the, certainly in the first half, we got into some really, really good positions. Um, but in the turnovers, we, we lost possession. When we did lose it and we won it back, we gave it away uh, too often. Too, um, we never made enough passes when we landed on the ball when we won it. So. That's again what we'll analyse, we'll, we'll, we'll go through it with the players as we always do. But it's, a, it's been a great test, this tournament has been terrific. It's, like you say, it's a different experience. The games programme this year has given the boys um, different aspects of the game that they need to then, that, that they maybe don't get domestically. So it's a brilliant opportunity to come down. And we've got one game to go and we're still right in the competition, which is great. Yeah, it was a week after the result and performance against Wills, which, which was brilliant for the team. You asked the boys to make that not a one-off and to try and build on it. How do you think they're taking on those challenges? Uh, listen, the progression's here for everybody to see when you consider where the boys were at this time last year. Um, it's, there's still loads of games to go, which is great. They're, they're at a difficult stage within their career because what you'll get, you'll get some that's development will accelerate and you'll get some that will fall by the wayside. That's what happens. Their job is to give them, is to be consistent, is to have clarity within their development, which they get on a daily basis. Um, and when they then do that and you get buy-in from them in, in every aspect, they will develop. And you can see, like, speak about it all the time, the development and the progression within the players has been fantastic. And, and we've, been, we've been over the moon with them. These are all experiences for the players. I mean, the games programme this year, you've got the test of the Lowland League, yep. test in Europe, and this Premier League tournament as well. What do you think the boys will learn from this experience? Uh, the, the biggest thing that, we'll, that, 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 that we've tried to do, we've got a clear style of play, which, which again, the manager was wanting us to then play. We know it inside out because Dan worked with the players a lot last year. I obviously knew the style of play from what the manager was trying to do, but the boys have bought into it. Um, it's a difficult way to play, but the rewards are, are terrific when you can then see it. Uh, uh, but the biggest, probably the most pleasing factor that is, is the boys are getting to play so many games and they're getting used to, at this stage, being able to go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday. And like I said, there's a, there's, there's, there's a bit of there's diversity within the fixtures. You know, you play against, we'll play against European sides that are possession-based sides, you'll play against Lowland League teams that will be very direct. So the boys are getting a proper taste of what men's football is all about. And at this stage in their development, it's crucial. It's crucial. And that's going to be the case for the next couple of weeks as well. We've got three tough away games coming up in the Lowland League and the game against Blackburn next weekend away from home. It's a really exciting challenge. We have, and, 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 and there's young players that are bubbling away in the under-18s that hopefully we can get up as well, because our job is to produce players for the first team. We've had Boston's been up with the first team, Rocco's been up with the first team, and there's, there's, there's a few others that aren't far behind them, hopefully. So our job's then to then is to get the next group up so that they are then ready. So we'll try and do that. And again, there's some young ones that are coming in, they add to the group, they've got a lot of belief, which is great. So our job is to keep trying to give the manager and the first team staff a problem by producing young players, and that's what our job is. So that's what we'll try and do.